Soccer 605, and I'm here with Sydney Sarda, the uh, Sioux Falls of Gorman senior, who has just signed a national letter of intent to play for Coach Green and the Coyotes at University of South Dakota. Congratulations, Sydney. Thank you, Randy. You know, that's a pretty big move, uh, you know, growing up in, uh, you know, your hometown, playing high school in your hometown, and now you're going to finish your college career at D1 just 60 miles away. Yes, I'm really excited and happy to be a part of it. You know, uh, you came out of a a really successful club team. Mm -hmm. You know, I think almost every girl in that team is going on to play at the college level somewhere. You know, what are some of the things you think that made that particular team so special that so many of you players could go on? Um, I think a lot of it started at practice. Um, every practice we worked together, we pushed each other, keep getting better. We just all had high standards and we had a lot of goals with, for each other and it was just all the support we've had for each other and it was good. And some good coaching. Oh, yeah, really good coaching. Mm -hmm. You know, not all of the players in your team are from Sioux Falls either. Mm -mm. We've had Watertown. Um, we had one from Marshall, Minnesota. So we've had people come in. And recently we just added a few girls from Sioux City too. So yeah. well, you we're know, bringing in a lot of players for more com competition just to get bigger and better. Yeah, and, you know, that's a good idea just about everywhere. We're seeing that happening all over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as you, uh, you know, move through the um, O'Gorman system, and, and uh, were able to play for Coach Byer, you know, for, for all those years. Uh, I'm sure that there was a lot to do with the O'Gorman system that helped you instill that quality, um, that quality in your life. Mm -hmm. um, they have, I've grown so much in, at O'Gorman. Um, unbelievable, I've had unbelievable support um, as teammates. I couldn't have asked for better teammates, um, especially my senior year. Um, it was the, my teammates who got me through that, and we got ourselves a state championship, and that was really awesome to finish like that. Yeah, we were really happy to be able to come see a lot of your games, and you know, I, I've been, uh, I've had no secret that I love shooting video from O'Gorman better than any <laughs> other school, but it was great following uh, your team because, um, you know, when you started the season, it didn't really look like uh, maybe you're going to be so clearly the best mm -hmm. team. You had some struggles, but uh, you know, the team fought through it. Yeah, we came a long ways. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you know, we're excited, obviously, um, every time a South Dakota player plays at one of our home school, uh, our home state schools. Uh, what are some of the things that happened at USD that you like about USD that made you want to play there? Um, the first thing was academics. I looked into it academically, and that was probably the best school for that. And I also have four y or three younger siblings at home, and I didn't want to be too far away from them. So I just chose a school that was closer to home so my parents could come watch my games and so I could come see my siblings too. And it just fit and it all felt right on my visit there. Well, you're still close enough uh, to home to be able to come get your laundry done. <laughs> That's for <laughs> sure. I'll be taking advantage of that. <laughs> well, you know, we've been uh, really impressed with what Coach Green has been able to do there at USD. Mm -hmm. You know, they... Uh, Started out uh, several years ago with the youngest team in the NCAA oh, yeah. and really turned some heads uh, the year before last and then last year. Um, you know, what are some of the things that you think you're going to have to adjust to to be able to play at that Division One level? Um, I would say they're going to be practicing a lot more than what I have been before. Um, so yeah, I'd say they'd be a lot more putting a lot more practice time into it. Um, there's going to be a lot bigger um, comp competition and a lot more players. Um, there's 11 girls I think that are coming in this year too. So I think it would be it would be really good um, adding on more players to keep the competition going at USD. You know, we keep talking to these coaches uh, that it seems like every year the quality of the players, not only here in South Dakota, goes up, but everywhere and. Uh, you know, so that is quite a testament that you and some of the other uh, girls who signed here today are going to be local girls playing at that school. So we're very, very proud of you for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to be a part of it, too. So. Well, Sydney, uh, thanks. Uh, again, congratulations on uh, you know going D1. Almost every every girl watching this is going, <laughs> ah, I wish I could go D1, too. So you know, uh, we're going to really look forward to watching your career. And, uh, I'm sure we'll have many good Soccer 605 memories with you over the next four years. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for your time.